It's Lydia. If you're new on here, hey, what's up? Get in the back, guys. Well, how does my intro go again? I've actually forgotten how to do the intro. The intro? Intro. Hey, guys, what's up? If you're new, what's up? <laughs> Get in the back. You know what time it is. All that, all that. I am just doing my morning. My morning situations. We wake up. We have our morning tea. We take our pills in the morning. We drink our water. And we mind our business. Guys, oh my God, let me show you these. I don't think I've ever showed you these. Look at this very cute glass. I need to get back on my thrifting game. I got these very freaking cute Pinterest style glasses in a charity shop and they were so, so, so cheap. I think I got four of them for like a pound. Oh. Anyway, good morning guys. Good morning. Today, I have so much to do. I have a bag of errands to run, including replacing our drone. You guys, if you know anything about us, my husband and I, every time we travel, I feel like, let's say, out of five drones that we've had, we've lost three. Something always happens. Like, something always, always happens. The last one got knocked down by a wave. The one before that flew away, literally by itself. The one before that, the wind took it away in South Africa. Something always happens to the drones, always. So we have them insured, and I need to go on my insurance and hit them up for, for that, because I need the new one. I need a new one ASAP. Oh, guys. This is not what I thought it was gonna be. What is this? <laughs> I thought that this was gonna be Kike's new tape, Kike's new um, body wear tape. But oh, guys, you know when you're reading, you're looking at something, but you're not even reading it. This is Ultra Long Wear Multi Proof Foundation. Okay. Okay. I don't know what this brand is. I've never even heard of this before. Eye Glow Gem Skin Shadow. All right, okay. That's just really not what I was expecting. I thought it was gonna be Kike's bib tape in there, but it's really not. Anyway, that's fine. Another thing that I need to do besides my drone application for my replacement <laughs> is also this. So this is basically a special delivery returns postage bag that I need to send my camera in, guys. Is it me or is it the tech? This is my Sony camera, which I have not used since Barbados because when I was in Barbados, it's just, it like it was taking ages to come on. And now that I'm even carrying it, it feels kind of heavy. Yo, I've got so used to my power shot. This is broken. And one thing about me, <laughs> everything is insured, okay? Everything is insured. So I need to send this back off as well for replacement. I need to get my steps in. I need to do a whole bunch of stuff. My watch is not even on. Oh my God, what is that? What is that? Oh my God, look at the size of this envelope. It's giving extra. It's a bit extra for like a camera like this. And that just reminds me guys, I literally had, oh, I'm so silly. I had um, bubble wrap tape yesterday and I put it all in the bin. I need that for this because this needs to go in here as I send it off to be repaired so that we can get a new one. You should always have a camera on standby. If you are a content creator, these things, they just, all right, actually I have an idea guys. If I, whoa, if I just put the camera in here, there's a whole form that I'm meant to fill out as well, but I'm gonna just wrap this camera in here and then recycle, reuse, save the planet. Put it in here so it's padded and then then i'm gonna put it in here 
Let me get some sellotape. If you watch my channel, tell me where you remember this duct tape from. I need to get my steps in today. And actually I'm going to the nail salon. Oh my goodness, guys. Remember last time that I went to All London, which was like literally three weeks ago. Guys, look at my nails. It has been three weeks since I did my nails and they are still perfect. Like they've barely grown out. I am going back to All London today to do my toes. And I'm actually quite excited because I can get my steps in that way guys. Steps over everything all day, every day. So I've got a whole bunch of errands to run today. And as I go about my routine and my errands, I like to keep things interesting, okay? And recently I have been doing that with Royal Match. Royal Match is a free to play game with thousands of levels. There's so many levels where the character King Roberts needs help restoring the castle. I find myself weaving the game into my everyday activities, which makes it a lot more exciting and enjoyable. <laughs> like guys, when I get a second, I am on the game. I'm on the game. Let me start making my juice here. And literally, as the kettle is boiling, you know what I'm gonna be doing. Even with the step challenge, I like to make my walks a little bit more fun with Royal Match. I find that it's literally the perfect way to challenge myself as I take steps and complete puzzles at the same time. So not only am I staying active, I'm also having a great time whilst I'm doing it. I also find that it's the perfect way to treat myself after like a busy day, running up and down, running errands like today. Literally, when I get home, I'm thinking about my me time and I'm thinking about how to relax and Royal Match is part of that. Even now, guys, literally, as I'm about to make this morning tea and pop the kettle on, <sighs> I'm hearing I got two minutes. I got two minutes of free time. Any free time is me time. The best part is that the game has no ads, so I can immerse myself fully without any interruptions. I also love the fact that I can play this whilst I'm on the underground and the network is completely limited. Like that does not affect it whatsoever. So whether I'm waiting for a train or taking a quick break, kind of like now, I can always have some quick fun. Guys, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box for you guys to check out and download Royal Match and enjoy the game for free right now. Look at my level. Look, look at the level. Level 606. Lydia, what's going on? Honestly, it's myself and Damini together playing this game. <laughs> Listen, the underground, the underground be boring as hell. So something's gonna keep me entertained. And this is, this is literally my game of choice. Let's play. My kettle is boiling. That's, I got time. I got like, I got a few minutes. to all London guys and today we are doing my toes like I said got my steps in I've got a glass of champs I'm about to relax it's not champs it's Prosecco <laughs> Prosecco champs same thing right oh Prosecco to literally just relax the music in my ears and drink this and play my game and to be honest guys as I am getting my toes done I'm gonna let you catch up with what I have been up to lately Y'all have a long vlog, so I am coming to deliver a long vlog. I hope you guys love and enjoy it and let me know in the comments what you think. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It is Lydia. If you're new on here, hey, what's up? Welcome. If not, get in the back. You already know what time it is. Today is Monday. We are starting a new weekly vlog. I'm loving the fact that I'm actually keeping these from Monday to Sunday, Monday to Sunday, so you can actually get a fuller picture of what I'm up to. I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog as well. If you are, please hit that thumbs up because it really does help the video, like reach a wider audience and people who love this kind of content can also engage with it. And your girl is trying to get to, what's our milestone? 300k? That's what's up, 300k is what we're trying to get to. Anyway, this morning I'm here, or this afternoon, I'm here with my sis, Dom, and we are at ikea we've just pulled it up ikea because this is the start of lydia sorting her life out this is the start of us sorting and moving into our house yeah basically about eight months ago we moved and uh, i got 
a five piece drawer from Ikea and when they delivered it I got some guy from TaskRabbit to come and put it together they did what they could but then in the end like it wasn't actually completed which is so annoying and it's been like eight months and it's literally all my fault eight months ago they delivered like half the wardrobe in the wrong pieces I feel like if you've ordered Ikea um, wardrobe you've probably experienced this before but I have like a whole bunch of pieces in here that are extras that I don't need but there's pieces that I need that I don't have so today we're here to swap the pieces out I hope it's not stressful I hope it's not stressful but Dot and I are planning to have lunch here as well so if it is stressful hopefully the lunch can just pilot things back out but basically this week before I head to Sardinia I'm going to Sardinia on Thursday oh my goodness guys and there's about to be a heat wave in Sardinia so that's already stressing me out but today's monday so let's let's focus on monday's stuff okay we are going to go in here and hopefully get this changed and then go home and fix the wardrobe i was expecting a task rabbit to come this morning at 9 a.m but i had to cancel him yesterday night because i realized that i hadn't actually picked up the pieces that i needed for him so he would have just been there literally i don't even know what he would have been doing there to be honest so hence why i'm like i don't know if we're gonna do it ourselves or if i'm gonna call the task rabbit to come back again i don't know we'll figure it out but yeah happy monday and let us get going and let's see what IKEA has got in store for us. Stephanie's dad was like, what happened to your car? Like, that's just how I drive. to return all the things. It was a really nice guy as well who served us, who literally just made things so easy. You know when sometimes staff members can just be like annoying, but he just literally chose the route of not annoyance. That was so nice. So job done. I wanted to get another compliment drawer, but the only, this doesn't have nine in stock, but literally there's none on the shelf. So I might have to come back tomorrow morning to pick that up, but I have bought a drill because Dot and I are just gonna go ahead and try and put the drawers together by ourselves. <laughs> Wish us luck. I just, yeah, I don't want to pay 90 pounds for somebody to come put together three drawers. I think we can do it. So it's going to be YouTube videos, me, Dot, and our drill. Might need to ask Damini to do it too, but I just want to do it myself. Like, I just want to do it myself. I'm an independent babe. I can do it, okay? So, yeah, Dot is getting a hot dog. I have never had a hot dog with my kid. I'm, I'm more of a meatball kind of girl, meatball and fries. Yeah, Dot's getting a hot dog, and that's pretty much it. And then we're going to go home and get started on this task. <gasps> Yikes. Be that thing you were using to record, what is it? It's a camera. Shot Canon PowerShot V10. No, why am I asking you? Because I'm a guitarist, I need something for when I'm playing Go Online. Yeah, you can use it like that. Yeah. You can stand it like this. You should work for Canon. I do work for Canon. I do work with Canon. Really? Yeah. <laughs> You're serious? You're not winding me up? I, no, I'm deadly serious. I do work with them. Where can I get one of them from? Uh, you can buy it from Curry's. Canon. Curry's. <laughs> Curry's. It's a brand new item. It's just needed to come into the market. Sorry, I'm going. Go, my go head, my head. <laughs> Hey, Canon, if you guys are seeing this, hey. <laughs> mukbang, mukbang. You know, us doing an ad for Canon. You're going to regret that. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with my husband. <laughs> we are back home, and guys, can you believe that I was walking around IKEA flapping with this, just flapping the whole time? Crazy, crazy girl. Crazy, crazy girl. So, Dot has a tutorial here on YouTube that we're just watching on how to put together assembling the complement drawer. And the plan is just to literally watch the tutorial and then put it together. Okay, so, he starts with these ones, right? Uh -huh. It doesn't have this, I think. I don't know. Because no, this is a drill. Your Bosch one is a screwdriver, right? So what do we need? What am I drill? Because you might need it. Yeah, you don't need a drill for this. You literally made me buy a drill. How do you need a drill? What did I say? <laughs> First of all, we've got an e receipt, right? Yes, we do. All right, we can take this back. What the hell? I do have a screwdriver upstairs. I've got my nifty screwdriver. Let me get my nifty screwdriver. <laughs> What's that? Is that charged? It's always charged. Okay. This, <laughs> this is my handy drill. Guys, you remember when I moved into my house, right? This has seen me. This is built. This is built a home at this point. Screw this in. 
so good. Oh my God. All women, all women need this. I'm being so serious. This thing has saved me so many times. Guys, hyper independence is a bad thing. Like who sent me, who asked me, who told me? Nothing, no one, just me, myself and I. I've literally unknocked my head as we were putting together the chest of drawers. Damini even came downstairs. He literally came downstairs and he's like, let me help you guys. And I'm like, no, no, it's fine. We're doing it fine. It's fine. We're doing it. Girls doing it. Girls, women in tech, women in STEM, literally. And then I went and knocked my head with a hammer. I knocked my head with a hammer. It's so painful, literally so painful. I didn't have to do this. I don't know why I do this. It's like, I wanna prove to myself that I can do it when I don't need to prove to myself that I can do it. I don't need to prove to my anyone that I can do this. Like, there's task rabbits for that. Hence why I paid the first time round for tax rabbit to come and do it. But I was like, oh, it's just the drawers. It's so simple. And it literally is so simple. It is so simple. They've literally done it already. Before I even hurt myself, Damini and Dot had already put together the first one. And so I'm just here like, this was so unnecessary. This was so unnecessary. But here we are. I hope that it doesn't swell. Let me show you. Ow. Here. Can you see? Can you see this dent here? Oh my god. Am I gonna be okay? Do you see that here? Like right there. Oh. Should have got a task rabbit. I should have left my husband to do it. I should have just anything, anything but me. Literally anything, anyone but me. But here I am now with a bag of bloody cauliflower on my face. So annoying. So so annoying. I need to kill my ego. Like I actually have to kill it soon because what the hell? <sighs> Am I gonna be able to make it to Pilates in 45 minutes? Hey my love, don't it's okay now. She's just wants to talk to chat. Look, what <laughs> I knocked myself with a hammer. How do you do that? I was trying to build a wardrobe. Just not even the wardrobe, just the drawer. And then I literally hit my head with a hammer. Did you, are you okay? Babe, I don't know. How did you feel when you hit your head? Were you seeing things? <laughs> because you're too cavalier, you're too casual about this. You hit your head with a hammer. It happened like 30 minutes ago. I've been cooling it. Is it swollen? Can you see where it? On your eye, was it right here? Right here, yeah, right there. Ah, it looks a bit, yeah, it looks swollen. It looks Why does it look funny? It does look a bit funny, doesn't it? You c I can see it looks swollen though, it's raised. Yeah, you see right there, here. Yeah. yeah, Jesus, was it like a, a, it was a big hit? Babe, not that big, not, not in, I hope not enough to kill my last two brain cells. Uh, 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 I only have two more left. <laughs> My head hurts like when I move my eyebrows, like when I isolate the movement here, it hurts. But like when I move my head, like when I move, it doesn't hurt. Does that make sense? And more importantly, I don't want to miss Pilates. Like I really cannot afford to miss Pilates because if I miss one session and I miss the next session and the third session, then I'm falling off the wagon and I don't want to do that. Like your girls should be consistent. So I'm just not going to frown, not going to frown. And Dot and Damini are doing the wardrobe really well. Like they're almost done with it anyways. So let's go to Pilates and let's work on these abs. Before 31, 31 ain't waiting for nobody. No, for nobody. Alright, let's go. Good morning, guys. Good morning. It is Tuesday. Guys, my head, my head that I hit yesterday. I don't know if you can see, but like, it hurts. It does. 
I was meant to be seeing my girls, but I had to cancel because I'm literally gonna try and just do as little as possible besides tidying up this room and preparing for our trip, which is on Thursday. I'm not doing much else. Like literally my head hurts. So, so silly of me. Can you see? I know you guys can see like this little dent here on my head. I actually lost the last two brain cells that I had. But good morning, guys. I'm back on my morning detox team. This is all to try and help reduce um inflammation in my body like i said something that i'm working on right now because the girl's not well okay but i'm okay in here it's looking crazy <laughs> you guys can't even see what's behind you behind you is is the worst of it all this looks bad that looks worse but um my husband and my sister got to work i need to figure out what i want to do about like handles because as you can see that's not practical going down to the ground to open this but oh my god this looks so good like look at this so 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 good i'm so happy with this but in here looks so good they fitted the wardrobes i've also got this as well look it's like a sliding piece where i'm gonna put my jewelry i cannot wait you guys know like i'm literally getting so obsessed with jewelry and i'm so glad that i'm finally gonna have a space where i can display my jewelry and just pick it out as i go along this morning i want to go for a walk and then after my walk i have to head back to ikea and be like the first person in there because we need one more drawer can you see we need one more drawer up here and then i want to get a wire basket for the bottom kind of like how i have one in this side let me show you oh look at the mess kind of like that one you see that one at the bottom you see how much of a mess in here look at my wardrobe guys does this look like a wardrobe that's being utilized like properly i don't think so like it's so random so so random so yeah that is pretty much my plan i'm so so happy so happy with the progress so far today dot and i are gonna try our best to clear in here put things away i have hangers i've got like a whole entire box of hangers that i've been waiting for this day for the last eight months um but yeah i'm carrying here hold on In here is a fan, guys. Can you believe that I lost my fan? If you know anything about me, it's me, my man, and my fan. I lost my fan when we went to you know, the birthday party, that was Jen's birthday party that we went to the other day. I left it at the station and I was so upset, guys. I was so upset because the fan is like of sentimental value. You know? It's like the fan that I used on our wedding. It's a fan that I've literally had ever since our wedding period. I've had that fan for a, over a year, like nearly a whole year now because it's nearly our wedding anniversary which i can't believe it's been nearly a whole entire year that's crazy like wild but i was so sad when i lost my fan literally on the way home before i even got home i had already ordered another one because i can't live without my fan but oh my god let me show you something so this is the easy fan so this is the easy fan i'm gonna have this link for you guys it's from amazon but i remember when i went to the vogue gala and i met nikki's tutorials and she saw me with my fan or well, the fan just like this right this one bends i like this like that you can put it on the table she saw me with this and she was like oh my god you're so bougie and i was like guys i'm not bougie i just i get really hot like it's not bougie-ness but then she was like oh if you love a fan i've got a brand that does a fan and i'm gonna send it to you didn't she just go and send me two fans and guys this is her fan look at the size of it literally not even the size of the handle just as strong how many how many clicks one two two clicks okay this one has three clicks this is so good and look at the size of it it's smaller than my face compared to this one you know oh, the battery is dead that goes to show you how much i have been using this when i did not have this because i cannot function without a fan i cannot who's messaging me this early in the morning like oh reminders of my pilates class damn i got pilates tomorrow at nine like when do i when do i book this stuff like what what do i be thinking when i book this stuff crazy but anyway i'm gonna link um this one so the name of the brand is nimia i'm gonna link um nikki's tutorials fan below as well as this one up to you to decide whichever one you want as you can see the size difference baby and i've got two of these and i've got one of this i just i just need my fan it's not bougie it's just cooling because my internal temperature does not know how to work okay i'm not being bougie anyway i'm taking both of these with me on our trip this week to sardinia because italy's gonna be 40 degrees 40 degrees am i going to dubai like that's crazy they're about to have like a crazy heat wave and guys we have oh it's back oh she wasn't dead i just turned her off oh 
is at least having a crazy heat wave and we're just about to dive into it like oh boy good thing i got spf guys this is this is my room this is just lydia's room of mess like just i'm all over the gaff literally things that i need look at me not me finding sunglasses not me finding a fan not me finding spf i can just pack literally from this floor <laughs> so bad anyway let me go and get dressed and get on my walk and then let's get to ikea be the first one there to pick up these two because i'm not lacking not today sorry no sir so i've got my steps in or some of my steps in I've got about three thousand steps in so far and now I want to get to Ikea. I stopped by the hair shop to pick up some supplies for my hair today. Some expressions. I always go for the ones that have already been pulled because that's what my hairdresser likes. 1B. Should I have gone for colour? I don't know. Maybe not. And then these. Oh my God, guys. My younger self is literally screaming. Guys, honestly, sometimes you just have to do things that makes the inner child in you happy. And for me, it's having these. You see these? They're like little rings that you can put in your hair. As well as these beads that you can also put in your hair. It's so cute. It actually matches my nails, doesn't it? I was going to have a bit of a rogue moment where I was going to go for silver. And then I remembered that my nails are gold. So I'm going to go for gold. But these really just make me so happy because it just pleases the inner, the inner child in me. Very simple. Anyway, guys, Ikea opens in 15 minutes. So let us be going. It's so nice to be drinking my drink again in the morning. It just tastes like health. I wish it was Wednesday because then I could be listening to the new receipts. But let's go and get this wardrobe. Perfect. Perfect guys, they have an entire stack of the wardrobe drawers that I need. Literally fresh delivery like the guy said. And then I want to get one of these, a mesh wire. This is going to be for the bottom tray and I'm planning on putting my fitness stuff, just, just throwing it in here and then I can just pick up my sets in the morning, go for my walk, go to the gym. And that needs the pull out rails, which are right here. Complement pull out rail basket two pack. Which means that all I have to do is go upstairs to get the little white things to like cover up the doors. Let me show you. So you see up there, that's what I want to do to my bottom shelf. That one right there. And then we just needed one more of these. So let's go upstairs. You see those little holes on the side of the drawer? I don't like those, so I want to fill those gaps in. It's taken me so long to put together this wardrobe. I'm just honestly, I'm feeling so good that I'm finally getting this job done. But we need to head upstairs. I hate having to go through the whole entire showroom because that's how I get bamboozled. Like, I'm so easily sold on things. Like, all I have to do is see it. And I'm like, ooh, need it. <laughs> There, so I've just asked them about the little hole things and they don't have them. They've only got the black ones in stock. So I'm gonna have to do it some other time. Do you know where I can scan this please? Yeah, oh, okay. very light. Yeah, very light. <laughs> Guys, job done. I've got exactly what I needed and I still have enough time to get home before the hairdresser comes. It is so hot. It is so, so hot and it's not even 11 o'clock. And guys, oh my God, I'm gonna be so hot in Sardinia. What the hell? I need to make sure that I have enough antihistamines. I need to have enough hydrocortisone because your sister is allergic to the sun. You already need this, right? I'm allergic to the sun. Back home. Guys, that was such a successful trip this morning. It is already so hot. If the UK is this hot, what even is the temperature today? Let me find out because what? <gasps> it's only 20 degrees. What the hell? <laughs> It's going to be how many times hotter than this? 200% or is it 400%? If it's 20 degrees now and it's going to be 14, I'm screwed. So screwed. Yikes. Well, on my way back here, I was listening to a, um, a podcast 
and they were discussing friendships and it's actually quite timely and it's funny because yesterday on twitter i was seeing that um there's a picture of jordan woods and kylie jenner and it seems like they've been going out for dinner whether well, they're papped going out for dinner or whatever and then there's been a discussion around friendships and rekindling friendships and i want to know like what do you guys feel about rekindling friendships because friendships are hard oh my goodness especially friendship in adulthood it not be easy at all at all trust me i asked you guys to ask me some questions on my instagram which i really can't wait to answer like a, a good q a coming up your way guys and a lot of the questions were about was about friendships like i think we're all struggling like it's not easy it's actually not easy if you're struggling in your friendships know that literally we are all going through it me included myself included but let me know like what are your thoughts on rekindling friendships like is that something that you do is that a yes is that a no and obviously i think also for me it kind of depends on why you need to rekindle the friendship like on what basis did you guys end was it like a toxic relationship that you had oh, guys one thing about this car park the lights are always gonna go off it's like Lydia wrap it up wrap it up but yeah let me know what you think about rekindling friendships I need to go and take the stuff upstairs and then get my hair done then we can carry on cleaning my room oh shoulder is giving a baby who works out <laughs> guys i have to show you my little trolley this trolley from amazon saves me every single time i don't carry things from the car anymore at least you just pop it in the little trolley and then pull it shopping anything like what i'm a baby girl i'm not carrying anything you see how cute my nails are you see you see what all london did to my nails i cannot risk breaking these carrying those so I've got one of these and we move, we move. Look at that, love it. She a baddie, she now she a 10. I love, 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 love. Got my head done so freaking good. And it's not tight at all, that can do that. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. It's giving me Ibiza, giving me Lydia Saka Ibiza and I love it so much. Good evening guys, good evening. Checking in, I have had the longest day ever. I feel like, have I even checked in with you guys since I got my hair did? I feel like I just came in really quickly to just say, oh, hair did. <laughs> when I was whipping my head here at the sink, but Good evening guys. It has been the longest day ever, but very, very productive day. Not only did I go to Ikea in the morning, but my hair braider came round, she did my hair. It's looking like the same style that I had when I went to Ibiza. You know, for the girls trip, I have to have my hair like this because 40 degrees will not see me in a wig. Like it's just, it can't happen, you know, it's gonna be so, so hot. So did that, got my hair braided in the morning, and then Dot and I just got to work on that room downstairs. Like, it is so much better. It's still nowhere near done. It's nowhere near perfect. It's nowhere near anything, but it's so much better than what it was this morning. So that's literally what we've been working on the whole day. And I basically collected all of my steps, 15,935 steps, pretty much. And a whole bunch of everything done today. I'm feeling very proud. And then Damni came back from work and he fixed that wardrobe. You know the wardrobe that we picked up this morning? That's already been fixed. And the little, the, the, the mesh shelf situation. So I'm so happy. It's really late. It's like 11.15 in the evening. I am just looking to have my dinner now. Go dinner, woo. <laughs> my head still hurts, like here still hurts. It's still swollen, you see this? I can't believe that I hit myself on the head with a hammer, like, that doesn't even sound right. It doesn't even sound right. It's still very painful. Anyway, should we go and check out what the room looks like now? Oh, and also, remember last week I was telling you guys that I wanted to change the bulbs? I have, that's why it is now so much brighter in here. Just great, literally just getting things done, slowly but surely. So let us go and check out what's going on. I look kind of bored like this, but I think I also see the no hair look. Cutie. Anyway, let's see. What a guan, pan, what a guan. <gasps> it's so much tidier in here. Look, oh my God. <clears throat> First of all, let me say, it is not tidy in here, but it is tidier than it was before. And this is the neatest this room has been ever since we moved in. So let me show you. Mm -hmm. Compare this to what it looked like before. Like this is, this is great. This is so, 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 so good. Can you see how big this room is? 
is huge. Like it's a really big room. Hence why I had so many boxes in here. This holiday stuff, I need to pack tomorrow. Tomorrow, that's what we're doing together. I need to pack all my stuff. Luckily, my nails are all done from last week. All London, have my nails looking real cute. Black home business. And my toes actually look very cute too. Very, very cute. Right, should we have a look in here? Guys, I need to decide what handles I'm gonna put here because this no handle situation, this is just absolutely not it. Because I have to like go down here. And I need to work on more light. There's actually light installed here, but I haven't just plugged it in. Guys, look at this. This looks so good. Oh, my baby fixed it. He fixed it for me. Look at that. So I'm planning on putting all my gym kit down here. Oh, thank you so much, babe. And then he fixed this one. This is the one that I got this morning. As you can see, things aren't really organized like that, apart from in here where I have some of these cubes. So I think I wanna go and get some more of these cubes. I've got some of my tops in here, I've got a bra, and then that's pretty much it. Like, put that bra there, put this is a skims thing. This is what I'm working with in here. And here, what do I have here? nothing so far and then down here i have like my home clothes like chilling clothes like whatever you know when i'm at home pjs these are really really warm black owned set i love this it's so 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 warm and then some pjs and some of my favorite father lux pjs here as well and then these are just like what do you call them they're like boo-boos you know like those really big auntie <laughs> chilling at home clothes <laughs> dot loves them so i've got two of them here for whenever she's around um and then yeah that's it and here oh my god i'm so excited for this i cannot wait to fill this up oh my god jewelry 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 so guys when they fitted this wardrobe like eight months ago they've got some lighting installed in it as well but this i have never ever 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 plugged it in so i'm about to plug it in for the first time to see if it actually gives us more light let me let me try it i'm gonna plug it into the socket here hopefully it works <gasps> Oh my god, at least you have never used it so much so that, look, the plastic is still on. Wow. <gasps> yes! It has lights! Oh, this is such a dream come true. Oh my goodness, guys. The thing that's the biggest dream for me is this, guys. Like, being able to have my jewellery. Guys, this wardrobe is so tall. Look at, look at where I am. It's not even the top of it. Look, my shoulders are coming up to where the jewellery is. Wow. This is so nice. I love it so much. It's so big. And it has lights. Oh my god, look. It has lights underneath it. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so, so, so happy. Does it have lights in the other one? There's light in the other one too. No, stop. Does it have light in the other one? <laughs> There's lights literally everywhere. Oh, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. So I can still be vlogging in here. I can be vlogging from inside my cupboard. Oh my God, I'm so, so, so happy. The Task Rabbits did their job. They did their thing. But um, you see this? You know when I was looking for the things earlier on, those little white things to fill these gaps in so that it can be seamless. But they didn't have them in stock. However, however, Lydia from the past, Apparently she was smart and I've ordered some, but this is nowhere near the amount that I need to fill up the entire wardrobe. So I'm gonna need to get, order some more of these. But this is so good. Oh my God, I'm the happiest girl in the world. But yeah, that's pretty much it for tonight. I'm gonna go upstairs, hang out with my husband, have some dinner. I made some chicken. Should I show you the chicken? I'm gonna show you my chicken. And then we'll just catch up tomorrow morning as I am starting packing for Sardinia. Hair done, nails done, house is coming together. Covered light works. Let's go see chicken. So the chicken is cool, so I can touch it. But have a look. This is the chicken that I meal prepped. Remember? Did I show you guys? I did, yeah, meal prep. So like literally just banged it into the oven really quickly. It was cooking as we were tidying up. So yeah, I'm basically just gonna have that for dinner. I was thinking about making it into a wrap, but I'll probably just do that tomorrow. I'll probably make it for a wrap for lunch tomorrow and I'll bring you guys along as I do that. For now, I'm gonna say goodnight. I'm gonna serve some food, say goodnight, and I shall see you guys in the morning for my walk.
idea coming to you. I had the worst night's sleep, like literally ever. My back was killing me. My period just came. It was just like the worst timing. I'm so tired. Like look at my face. I feel so I just feel puffy and tired. And I have Pilates this morning, so I have to just get on with it and just go. I wanna go Pilates. And then when I come back, maybe we can catch up. But right now I am feeling so tired. So so tired. Look at my face. Did I even sleep? Anyway, the last session I forgot my socks and it was kind of a big deal. I almost didn't do the session, so I definitely have to put my socks on. See you guys after Pilates. What's up guys? I'm back from Pilates. I'm feeling a little bit better, a little bit better. I feel better just because I went and I showed up for myself, but oh boy, literally what? washing machine is going and we are hopefully waiting for somebody to come and fix our dryer because there's a whole bunch of stuff that i need to dry ahead of tomorrow you know we're going away just to sardinia tomorrow and i'm very much looking forward to it like i don't even know what i want to do in terms of vlogging working or not i don't know i don't know but anyway sham i'm glad that i went with regards to my reformer pilates oh, let me close the door the washing machine is about to finish with regards to my former Pilates, I've been going for about two months now. I'm about to finish my second lot of eight sessions and I've only missed, I think, two so far, which is why I did not want to miss this morning. Like, I just want to be so consistent. I want to be so, so, so consistent. But the funny thing is that I've been, although I've been consistent with Pilates, let me be so real, I've been consistent with, I've been consistent with Pilates, but my eating has just, like, Pilates has gone up, my eating has gone up higher too, okay? Like, I've been eating, like, crazy but for me it's just about getting <laughs> what is for me for me it's about weight loss i should be losing weight but at this point i'm just clapping for myself for the times that i go because i can't come and kill myself i can't come and die okay i'm starting to see some formation on my body like i don't know you tell me i don't know maybe don't tell me if you don't see anything if you don't see anything just be like quiet okay <laughs> what did your mom say if you got nothing good to say don't say anything at all but um i'm starting to see like some more indentations like on the sides here and sometimes like in the middle here but if i just ate cleaner then i wouldn't be on maintenance like right now i feel like i'm on maintenance as opposed to be being on like right now i feel like i'm on maintenance as opposed to being in a calorific deficit which is where i need to be to be losing weight do you know what i mean but again it is what it is one thing that i really like is the fact that because i've been going for two months i've been able to like learn like all the different instructors and now i kind of know which instructor i, I prefer which classes i prefer kind of if i'm feeling stronger well to be honest i pre-book my classes in advance so i'm just gonna try and book the next lot of eight with a slightly harder instructor because i hear this this one that's like she's gonna beat your ass and that's who I need, I need to be beaten up. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make sure that I book my next lot of sessions just more carefully. Cause before I was just booking, just booking. Cause I wanted to get into the habit of doing Pilates. But now that I've been in a bit more of a habit of doing Pilates and I know a bit more of the, of the way the, the reformer moves and like, you know, my biggest fear with before was balance because I literally have no balance. But now that I've found my way on the reformer and I feel a bit more balanced, I can now progress into like doing the harder classes, you know? But um, yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. Like literally in the, in the end, he was like, clap. they were like, clap for yourself. And I was literally like, oh my God. Well done, Lydia. Because what? I was not feeling it this morning at all. At all, at all. But anyway, today's task, we need to go to B&Q to get a shredder because I want to shred a whole bunch of stuff in here like this whole this whole box here has just got documents that need shredding that have been needing shredding for the last like two years this right here is also my one of my wedding dresses that Tope made for me but it was the first one and it just it did not suit me like at all and then she made me another one if you watch the wedding series then you know what i'm talking about she made me another one and so i sent this to her but can you imagine on the day that i sent it to her there was a strike so real mail literally just did not deliver it and this is the first time ever guys ever in my life that i put a return address this was so weird because for the first time ever when i was in the post office i was like you know what i'm just gonna put a return address on the back of this just in case anything happens and literally for the first time ever there was a strike with royal mail at least for when i'm sending something there was a royal mail strike and they didn't deliver this so if i hadn't put a return address this dress would have disappeared like literally into the thin air so i need to ship this to her i need to go and get a shredder and we just need to carry on with the rest of the day and just 
get ourselves holiday ready. I will show you what's in the prime box later on. But for now, I'm gonna say good morning properly to my husband and then we can catch up in a little bit. Okay? Well done, lady. I definitely like to try on my outfits before I pack anything away. So that's currently what I'm doing. This is a, actually an old dress that I have turned into a skirt. And I kind of even like this little bit here as well. I've turned it into a skirt. And then I'm just trying on my fits. Like, do I like this? Would I wear it with this, with the shoes? And then like maybe this bag, you know? I try on pretty much everything so that when I'm on a holiday, I'm also not fussing. I just know that, okay, cool, I already put this outfit together. This is gonna work, this is gonna look cute. And then I pack it together in my packing cube. And then I just know that's that's a fit, right? I like this, this is really cute, very cute. I'm so excited to wear my new bikinis. Oh my God, so many new bikinis. Guys, I literally have suitcases. And I mean like as big as my usual traveling suitcases full of bikinis, where I can never tire. I have some new ones. I have new sets from Farai London Times Uche, the Ubuntu collection, which I can't wait to show you guys whilst I'm away. I'll just put a picture so you can see which ones I'm referring to. I've got this uh, kind of purpley set, this colorful rainbow set. And then I've also got this long skirt which i can't wait to wear i might even just try this on for you i also have illicit swim and then new bikinis in here this is like a royal blue i've packed a scarf that i want to wear like as a cover-up in there as well zip it in put it in the packing cube i know that my bikinis are in here and even this uche two-piece i've got like a, a cover what the hell that's scary i've got like a cover that i'm gonna wear it with but let me try on this colorful rainbow something something guys this is so freaking cute so so cute so the skirt is for Rye london times uche it's so cute look at the back it's rouged i love the rouging at the back and then it's really nice and long very well fitted I love it, love it, love, love, love. And then the top, I've actually paired it with another black owned brand. I have had this for like over two years now. It's a brand called The Label Muse. I'm not sure if they're still operating, but I literally, this is like two years old and the quality is still absolutely slamming. Like it's so, so, so good. And I feel like the two of them match really well together. It's giving rainbow, but yeah, I like this as a fit together. This skirt is one of those really long skirts, so see i could even wear it as a midi i guess if i want to but i think it looks better as a as a full length so uche wearing it as a crop mini but i just love it as a full length something something and this top oh my god the way you tie it is so complicated so i just i've just i've just done my own little thing in here but i really wish they were still in still selling like how amazing is this i love this fit this one is definitely a yes but this Gives me more like a girl's holiday, like a girl's trip. But I don't know, maybe we can go for dinner somewhere nice in the evening. But I feel like Sardinia is gonna be very casual, like very relaxed, but I'll have this anyway. I'll pack this and I'll pack like, maybe like a, like a loose white top instead. So maybe I can wear this skirt with like a loose top. Hold on. I need to wash this, but I guess if I wanted to make this more casual, I could just remove the top underneath and wear this instead. I don't even have a mirror to look at it, but I feel like this could work too. What do you think? Could that work? This makes it a lot, a lot more casual. Then I need to figure out how to tie it properly. Obviously take out the thing that I have underneath. But look at that. That's still cute. Still very, very cute. I love the back. I love the version at the back. So I'm just going to roll it up. And then I'm literally packing, packing them as full fits in here. So that it's literally done. We're going for four days. So I need like four to eight outfits. <laughs> Two per day. The girls that get it, get it, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna carry on packing and then I'll check in with you guys once I am done with packing. Let me go and check out this outfit. I hope it's cute. 
Or how about this? So this is a little crop top from Zara. I wore this as well in Ibiza. And I think this goes really, really well. White flat forms to match. And I just think this is such a cute outfit. This could be like a evening dinner by the beach. Sardinia is gonna be very relaxed, very relaxed. I don't even know if this is doing entirely too much for Sardinia or not, but I really like this. Love the rouging, love the rainbow, love the orange. Orange goes really well. And then with this little bag. One thing about me, my watch is always going to ruin my outfit, but it is what it is, I gotta get my steps in. Ooh, look at this. Put together this outfit, I really, really like this. Really, 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 really love this. This could be an evening outfit as well. Again, one thing about me, the watch is gonna ruin the fit, but it is what it is. Maybe white shoes, white, flat, white platforms. Let's use this again. That's cute, love that, packing that. I'm almost done with packing, I'm almost done. Oh my God, guys, look at the sky. That is insane, wow. It looks like something out of a film. It's so beautiful. We get the best sunsets, like literally the best sunsets from this place. I wish I could show you my view, but obviously, <laughs> oh, privacy and all that. Oh my God, it's so, 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 so stunning. Wow. What's up guys? Checking in, I've just had a shower and I've come back from my walk. Today has been a difficult day, oh my God. What the hell, what's really going on? I feel like, Day one of my period is always gonna be a hard day. Everything is just hard, everything is hard. Like everything is harder than it really should be for no reason besides the fact that it's day one of my period. Like that's the answer, that's the reason, that's why, that's why, or well, that's literally why everything. I don't know if anybody else can relate. And being completely honest, like I think I said this before, but my period is getting me a lot more these days. Like it is, she is dealing with me. I'm not dealing with her, she is dealing with me. Like PMS like crazy, emotions going up and down like crazy. Like what the hell? What is really going on? Yeah boy, it's been a bit of a long day and I'm kind of glad it's coming to an end. <laughs> But I've, I've managed to get my steps in, Shara. It's, I've got like 15.8K steps. I am now just moisturizing before I go and offload some footage. I need like, to do a little bit of work before I go away. This lotion is so shiny, isn't it? Oh my God, it's so soft. It's whipped shea butter. It's from a black owned brand called Sheer Love London. We picked this up after we had gone to see Rennie for the Rendell pop-up, remember that? So sweet, so proud of her. I can't believe I'm missing Rennie's birthday. Her birthday is on Saturday and we're gonna be away. I'm so sad about that, so, so sad. But yeah, today has just been a long day. It's been a bit of a difficult day for me. And one thing, right, let me tell you one thing about me. So one thing about me that I absolutely dislike about myself, and I've been told this a few times by two different, not even just two, a few different people, and I despise it, I literally despise it and I wish I could change it because it's just not the one. But I'm always being told that I am someone who my mood affects everybody else's mood. So how I'm feeling heavily impacts everyone else around me, even if I don't mean to. So if I'm feeling sad or if I'm feeling low, then the mood around is all low and I'm like, Please, you guys, y'all can't keep putting that on me. Please, like, I don't want that responsibility. I don't want it, please. Like, y'all just do your thing. Let me be sad over here. Let me be moody over here. I don't need y'all to inherit my mood. And I, I, I don't know what it is. I literally don't know what it is, but I've been told that a few times and I absolutely despise that about me. But it's a good thing and a bad thing because when I'm happy, like everybody around me is happy. Like literally, my mood is infectious. I've been told so many times my smile is infectious. Like it makes people like, like I'm, and I'm not saying this to be big headed. I'm saying this as an issue, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying this is an issue that how I feel heavily affects how other people feel even if I don't want it to even if I don't mean for it to so I always just feel like this heavy kind of oh, I don't know I don't know what the, what the word is but I feel a heaviness when I'm feeling heavy because then I'm super conscious that how I'm feeling is transferring to other people even if I don't want it to because I'm like honestly I'm let me be in the corner let me be in the corner over here doing my own thing. But no, my little corner just radiates, radiates. And I wish I could change that. I really wish I could change that about myself because yo, I can't be carrying everybody in my back. <laughs> so, 
Like, I can't. I cannot. I've only gone and miffed off my best friend, my sister. Like, and that annoys me. Like, when she's sad because I'm sad, and I'm even more sad because she's my girl. That's my left hand. Like, what the hell? So now I'm here feeling sad about it. She's feeling worse about it. And I'm just like, damn. All because of what? I'm on a period. Like, what's really going on? Like, what's really going on? What's really, really going on here? I don't know. I really don't like that about myself. So today has been such a meh day. Literally such a meh day. It was a meh from the moment I woke up. Y'all see the way I woke up today? Like, I just knew today was going to be no good. And surely, I can't be alone. I cannot be alone in this. I cannot be alone. But I wish, like, how do I become somebody who is less infectious in my moods like how y'all teach me please the therapists please therapy in the, in the captions can you just therapy in the captions because when it's good it's great but when i'm bad oh it's awful like it's awful and it's not a good thing it's not a good trait it's an awful trait in fact i promised that i'd show you guys the box right so i'm gonna keep my promises listen i said 2023 <laughs> baby girl apart from sweating for no reason oh i'm sweating because the the dryer is hot i'm sweating because the dryer is on the, the guy came to fix the dryer and he actually did fix it but then he just left like so rudely left without even saying goodbye without even letting me know that he was done like he just literally left is that strange or not because surely you'd announce yourself like you announced yourself when you were coming in surely you'd announce when you're done with the job like literally that many was in meetings the whole day and then after he's like oh it's a dryer fix i'm like i don't know i think he's still fixing it he goes downstairs and he's like they're not there and i'm like what do you mean they're not there and he's like they're not there i'm like what so they came they did the job and they just left like peace <laughs> sorry <laughs> this is swearing in the uk this is peace peace but he might as well have done this <laughs> you might as well but the dry is fixed and it's making the whole house hot but um i said listen all 2023 i'm vlogging i'm vlogging through all good times bad times and the medium times too like y'all gonna get all my moods i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry it is what it is you know um so i promise that i will show you guys what was in my box i want to go and show you that real quickly and then make my chicken wrap and then we're gonna call it a night guys i don't know where we at with this vlog but it's <laughs> it has to end okay look at this literally have a look at what i ended up doing today it's so 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 nice i'm so happy guys i've literally got my jewelry out i've got all of my earrings here i've got necklaces i've got bangles i've got these are like belly chains i've got some of my glasses nowhere near all of my glasses just some random glasses a few um chains here some more earrings earrings i just absolutely love this like this is what is bringing me delight not this because that's random as hell but that is just honestly perfect what's up guys i have just realized something so irritating so my garmin watch sometimes it doesn't sync properly with my pacer and it's gone past midnight it's now 20 <laughs> 22 minutes past midnight and it hasn't synced my steps from yesterday oh my goodness oh my goodness okay it's got the steps on garmin but does it have it on pacer <sighs> thank god thank god <gasps> god thank goodness it's got them what's the date oh perfect oh it uploaded it has synced them thank goodness i would have been so mad I would have been big mad if it did not anyway guys it is as you, as i said it is past midnight i am just coming to wrap up the vlog i have been listening to the tmi podcast which is the messy in between podcast kenyan podcast it's so 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 good and you know i was asking you guys earlier about like friendships and stuff they have the best series on friendship like friendship breakups friendship makeups oh my god so Good. I'm gonna have them linked below. You have to check them out. It's a Kenyan podcast, so shout out the 254. Yeah, I love them, love them. But anyway, guys, I'm here having my glass of wine. Accountability. Let me just say, watching back the footage as I was uploading it on my drive right now, I realized that my eating has been off the scale, like so bad, like so, so, so bad. And I'm only taking accountability after seeing it on camera, like after seeing it recorded, which is awful. I didn't even realize, I just, you know, we just assume that you're doing well. Like I'm cooking most of my meals at home, but when I don't cook at home, guys, McDonald's, pizza, ramen. That's exactly why I'm not hitting my goals. Like literally, I'm maintaining right now because I'm eating like somebody who's maintaining. Anyway, 
that's another dilemma for another time but i just wanted to come here and say good night real quick i'm just putting together my jewelry like literally i'm here with my little stackers I'm gonna empty some jewelry in here, take it with me. No makeup in this trip because 40 degrees heat, let's be for real, let's be so for real. No makeup, but I'll take jewelry instead. So I'm just packing my jewelry. And guys, honestly, I'm gonna have to just see you guys in Cagliari, Cagliari? I'll be, I hope that's how you say it. <laughs> I'm so petrified with the heat, but I'm there. I'm there either way. This is what my stacker looks like. It's empty right now. So I'm literally just about to pick up some of my favorite jewelry and stack it. Mm -hmm. Stack it, lol. Stack it. Makeup or not? Nah? Maybe I might just carry like a little, little pouch, little, little, eye, little, little concealer or something, like a little, little eyebrow or something for the evening. But definitely I'm not planning on doing full face. 40 degrees heat? That'd be crazy. Like, there's no setting spray that does that for me. Like, I sweat naturally here and here. So it's gonna be sunglasses and lip only anyway guys i hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog i feel like it's kind of come to a bit of an abrupt end but your girl's tired it's past midnight and at this point i'm gonna have to see you next week i don't know what you guys are gonna get next week i don't know if you're gonna get a vlog if you're gonna get a travel vlog probably not a travel vlog because travel vlogs take three weeks to edit guys so please bear with me bear with me you will get it when you get it okay i hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog i hope you enjoyed hanging out with me i'm gonna put together my jewels and then finish my wine and get to bed Top the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds doing till she slides in both ears. Dice falling on the Las Vegas strip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fuck or not, I keep the quality in my shorty. Belt.